Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. This is the challenge, number one. Mr. Hernandez, teacher versus student. Our student uh, challenge of the week is Jack Cavalazzi. All right, what's going on, Bobcats? I'm setting things up with Mr. H here for our challenge, you know? For today, we're gonna be cooking some pasta. We have some farfalle here, you know what I mean? And if we, if we go get a look at the ingredients, we have some bacon, you know? We're gonna chop that up finely with this knife, you know what I mean? We have some Parmesan cheese. This is some prime quality cheese. I use this every day for my pasta, it's great. This is Himalayan salt, you know what I mean? You see the pink in it, you see the quality of it. This is only prime, top shelf stuff, you know what I mean? We have the white pepper going on. We have the egg. We're gonna put the egg right in that bowl, whisk it up. You know what I mean? We have the water that's boiling. We're gonna work with that later. We're gonna put the bacon in the pan. Oh, uh, whoops. I am working with a salad that I prepared. It looks like, and I don't wanna use my hands necessarily because I have another person eating this with me. Uh, we have kale. If you don't know what kale is, it's kind of like, um, it's kind of like spinach or lettuce, but, it's, but it starts with a K, okay? All right, Bobcats, we have some bacon that's getting chopped up here. We're chopping this up, you know, pretty nicely. Um, we have, I don't know what these are, <laughs> but they're there. Um, and this looks like it's chicken to me. Now, now you may be asking like, why doesn't he know what this is? <sighs> like the greatest people sometimes don't know what things are and they just stumble upon them. And I stumbled upon a great recipe that's totally gonna take Jack down. We're getting likes in right now online. We're checking it out. Yep, students are liking this. They're digging it. Jack's losing right now, by the way. Bing, 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 round two. Let's go. All right, so we're ready for the bacon. Get it in the pan. And then we're gonna let that cook. So we got, uh, again, Trader Joe's, TJ, organic, great northern beans. The southern beans weren't that good. Neither were like middle of the country, like North Carolina, like, like those weren't good. These are from the north. We got rice orzo pilaf mix. Do you see that? Is that in view? I feel like Jimmy Fallon. Like, is that in view? View? You have the egg going right here. You know, a little bit of Himalayan salt, just a tiny bit. A little bit of white pepper right in there. Oh, um, that's good. And then whisk it up. And then we have sliced bacon. I typically would say bacon, but like Jax, he's from Italy. He's cultured. Uh, I know some stuff too. Bonjour, s'il vous plaît. What is, what is it? Uh, I can have a conversation in Italian as well. Buongiorno, right? All right, now we're gonna get the Parmesan cheese going on here. You see that, Mr. H? This is real Italian cuisine, not like your fake American stuff. This is real Italian stuff, real ingredients. We got uh, pepper bites, I like those. We have basil pesto. We're gonna take all of this and we are going to chop it up. We're gonna put it in and I'm totally not looking up a recipe on how to do this for the 12th time. All right, we got the salt in there and we have the pasta, you know, put it in a plate. This is the amount that we're gonna put. All right, so we got the pasta going on. We have the bacon, you know, sizzling, cooking. We have the ingredients ready. The onions are really potent. I can't, I can't do it, I can't do it. Just give me a pause it, pause it. Um, it's like watching the Titanic all over again. All right, so we're gonna take a second to check out the outfit that we have going on. This is that big, big drip. You see the slides, you see this, Mr. H? Look at these. These are prime, you see? I'm equipped. Mr. H doesn't know his equipment. I have this to clean my hands, you know, I have the spoon going on, stirring up the pasta, make sure it doesn't get stuck. Technique is excellent. You can't stop me from looking like a lumberjack cook. Got protective gear. I'm not crying this time. Chopping onions. And this time, we are good. No tears. Jack, you see that? So we're gonna get a piece of paper towel, put it on this plate. The bacon's about ready, but you see all the fat in there. We don't want that, that's not healthy. Italian cuisine is healthy. So we're gonna put that right over there, and we're gonna let it sit to the all the fat sinks in, 
and settles in, and then our bacon is a little drier, a little healthier. We got a uh, Bon Appetit. This is not something you see all the time. It's a little salty, but it gets the job done. Our high school students love the gourmetness of this. It's all good. It's from Dr. Pringle, and I want to unveil to you now the final product. Are you ready? <laughs> there it is. It was in the, uh, it's totally, look at that. Look at that. Look at the chicken. You have the, the, the basil. Um, you have the, uh, what do you call it? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts. You have the Brussels sprouts. You got uh, some mushrooms toasted there. Chicken, pecan. Cauliflower. Cauliflower. Thank you. Man, like, I was so into this, I lost track of what I was doing. It was like Jimi Hendrix during a solo. I don't even know what's going on. But I totally made this, and um, that's it. All right, this is the final product, you know. The bacon's in there. The Parmesan cheese is in there. The egg settled on the bottom. Mr. H, you see this? This is real Italian food. This is, this is art, you know? If you see all the stuff that's going on in here, this is art. This is... Homemade food. This is not no type of Olive Garden. This is not no fake stuff like Mr. H does. The votes are coming in already. And you know, I'm the master chef, so I already know I'm gonna win. Congratulations, Jack, you won. Corona can't stop you from cooking and beating your own English teacher. Now he gets to challenge somebody else. Jack just won Chick-fil-A. We have Chick-fil-A, we have a couple of the restaurants that are sponsoring this. They love the Corona Camp movement. For all the students out there in our county, in our state and beyond, step up, challenge somebody to cooking, record it. Tag us at Corona Camp with two T's, two gift cards coming your way. Join the movement.